Hi guys, it's me again, Glamorous Girl 1111, and I just want to share with you my favorite beauty products. I know it's kind of a lot, and um, it's going to be kind of a long video. I'm trying to make it kind of short, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with my favorite tools. When it comes to tools and brushes and stuff, I use a lot of brushes, but these are my absolutely two favorite tools ever. Now, this is an eyebrow. It's just called a spool. I love to use it because I have like really unshapely eyebrows like this. And then it just fixes them and it gets the foundation out of your eyebrows. Because whenever I do my foundation, I like to go over my eyebrows so it's not like around them. And then I have to comb it out. Then this is really pointy and scary looking. But it actually gets mascara clumps out. So you can just comb your eye like that. Don't poke yourself in the eye. This hurts really bad. I did it in the car once. Okay. Then I have my beauty blenders. I like these. They're, I don't like love them like some people do. And they're kind of expensive. But I got these from my mom. And I find that when blending it works really well. And I like to spray them with MAC um, Fix Plus. And then just dab the face wherever it gets too cakey. And that works really well for that. And then I have these two things, so one white side that's like soft and fuzzy, and then three pink sides. I use them for foundation, for primer, for almost everything, and then this one's usually for powder or just to like smooth over my foundation. Love those. I'm not quite sure what they are called, but you can find everything basically in the description. Now moving on to face, one of my favorite face things ever is the Smashbox Primer. Um, I got this a while ago. They don't even make it in this form anymore. This is just the regular photo finish. I have not tried any of the other ones, but I love this. And it's really expensive. And I just got a sample of the Sephora one. I'm telling you, it works just as good. Like, don't spend $42 on this. Spend $16 on this. This is the just as good. Then as far as foundation goes, my two go-to foundations, I do use a lot of the um, Mix Master by MAC, but when I don't want something too greasy and I want something really light, I like to use Clonique Super Balanced Makeup. And this is in Normal to Oily 2, 3, in 27 Owl Blaster. And I even sometimes just take half lotion, half um, foundation, and just rub it in like lotion, and it goes on fine. Then... This is like the greatest thing I've ever used. It's the Mineralize Foundation. It has um, sunscreen in it. It comes like this in this little thing. And you have a little sponge, which I clean all the time. But that's what it looks like. It's got a really great mirror. And it's just so creamy. It blends in so well. If you're going to buy a MAC foundation, go get matched and buy this. Because this... Once they match you so well, like I have a really pinky um, undertone. I, this is in MW15. This matches so well. You could use it as concealer, as cover up if you don't want to do a full foundation, just like rub in a few spots. It's amazing. My mom just gave me a sample of this, which is the Clinique Gel Brush Blush. This, I have never used like a gel blush before, but this goes on really natural because sometimes I have really rosy cheeks. When I put on foundation, I don't like it to look like I don't have rosy cheeks anymore. So this looks really natural. And then as a highlighter, I splurged and I bought this Smashbox Halo Highlighting in the Pearl. And this just goes right over it. This is like so pretty. Like I literally love this. It, it's a really pearly finish. And it's it's not necessarily worth the money, but if you do want to splurge on something or you do have the money, I would spend it on this. Then for primer for eyelids, um, Urban Decay. They are known for their primers. They have really good primers. I've never had a problem with their primers. Now that they've switched to the squeeze tube instead of the wand, I like it a lot more. Also, this comes in Sin. I love it. Um, I don't have one right now, but it's great. So it just goes on really um, creamy. Another one that I like is Bare Essentials or Bare Minerals. They're primer, but you don't get as much. And it, I just find that I always go back to Urban Decay after using different ones. 
for eyelash glue, Duo, uh, Duo Adhesive literally is the best eyelash glue ever. Like, I love fake eyelashes, but I couldn't get them to stick where they're supposed to. The first time I've used this glue, they have gone exactly where they're supposed to go. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to go to lips now, and then we'll go back to eyes. This is by Maybelline. It's in the color 10 Clear. It's a lip liner, and it literally goes on clear. What I like to do is when I wear lip gloss or something I know is going to spread, I'll just line like the outside of my lips, like not even on my lip, like my skin part, and so that my makeup doesn't go off my lips. And then sometimes I'll just do my entire lip in that if I know it's going to get all over. And then something I really like to use is Chanel, um, the lip liner in Boise Du Rose. This one is and it comes with a brush. This one is my like perfect lip color. And I find that it just goes on really well and right where it's supposed to and doesn't put too much on my lips, which I love. For something really natural, a lip gloss that I love is Clinique's Glossware for Lips Brilliant. I got this a really long time ago, so I don't know if they still have it, but it's in 207 Air Kiss, and it comes in this wand, and it's just super nice to go over like chapstick or something. Then another lip thing I really like is the Chubby Stick by Clinique. This, I've, I have a few of them. It goes on really sheer and it just gives your lips like, like you don't want to wear lipstick but you don't want to wear lip gloss. This is just like chapstick with color in it. Now this is my biggest like splurge. I just bought this when I got the Smashbox. And it's really expensive, but it's Dior, Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in Flash. This color, literally, I'm wearing it right now. It looks good on anybody. Like, I put this on my, my friends that have darker skin, and it is the pretty... It's, I think it's almost prettier on them than it is on me, but I really like this color. It's like a magenta. And I just find that it goes on really really thin like it doesn't go on too goopy like I love MAC but they're um some of their lip glosses go on so goopy that I just can't stand it like how am I supposed to eat with that on right that is perfect for all occasions then we're moving back to eyes now for eyes one pigment I absolutely love is the MAC Rose and I find that these pigments um are thinner and they go on a lot better than the other ones. And it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I will show you what I did with it. I put it in some clear Sephora lip gloss. And I mixed it in so you could see the color of it. And it's so pretty. So there's the color. And here it is on my hand. It's like this. <clears throat> it's really pretty. Okay, so that's it for lips. Now starting with um, eyes, I'm going to start with mascara. So my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara for a splurgy mascara is going to have to be Chanel in, in... I don't even know how to say it. I'm just going to show you. An Intense in just regular black. This gets my eyelashes perfect. Like, it's really gross and goopy right now because I need to replace it, but it's expensive. Um, it's on right now. It's, it's just really good quality mascara. It really holds the curl in my eye. One that I've been testing out right now is the Hypnos Doll Lashes in black. It doesn't hold the curl in my eye that well, but I still do use it. I like the brush a lot. But I find that the quality of the mascara just isn't as good. I do also have the Hypnos Drama by Lancome in this sparkly, like, silver and blue. And this is in the color... It doesn't have a color, but it sparkles. And the limited edition, they come out from time to time, so you just have to watch their website if you want something like this or go on eBay or something. You'll be able to find it. Okay, so I kind of thought it was kind of dumb that Clinique came out with an, a mascara just for your bottom lashes. I take it back. It was, it's one of the best things I've ever used. Like, that is 
it's real size and it just gets all the lashes without making them look too long. It's very cool. It's If you have the money to spend it on mascara, spend it. But if you're just like, I only can afford one mascara, don't do that. That would be weird. I also like the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition. This really just is a, a natural um, mascara. It goes on really nice. I've never had a problem with it. It doesn't bug my eyes. And it does build up volume, but also if you just put it on once, it's the best. Okay, now moving on to eyeliners. This is Maybelline Eye Studio in charcoal or carbon. Charcoal carbon. This is just their black gel eyeliner. It's cheaper than the MAC and it works really good. I don't like that it's, it's not like black. When I put it on it's just gray and it sparkles and it just looks really good. So that's one of my favorites, definitely. Um, as far as black eyeliner goes, I like Line Stiletto, but I also really like this felt tip eyeliner pen by Polido in Jet Black. And it just goes on really thick or really thin, depending on how you use it. Then the Lancome Art Liner in Waterproof. It does stain your eyes blue, but it's by Lancome and it's... The prettiest thing I have ever used on my eyes. I put it on all the time, it makes my eyes look really blue, and just really defines them. Um, Sephora has a bunch of these like glitter liners. These are the best. They're just so pretty. Whenever I do spirited makeup for spirit days or anything, I love those. As far as a black eyeliner goes, I really like Makeup Forever, but I have this sample of Double Wear by um, Estee Lauder's, and I do my waterline with this. This is like super smudgeable and super soft and I just find that it really goes on and gets all around my eyes and then it's just soft and it really does stay as long as it says it will. So this I would invest in, definitely. But ask them for a sample first because usually they give you samples and it's really awesome. I just got from the MAC store and these are not a limited edition item. Um, the MAC in a industrial and in under current. One's green, one's blue. The blue one is really pretty. If you have brown eyes, this just really defines your eyes. And then also the green one is also really pretty. That's the green and that's the blue. And I find that these just glide on and they look good on almost all eye colors and eye types and just everyone. Like I put them usually on the bottom of my eyes because they go on pretty thick, but I find that they're just beautiful colors. Then I like this Lancome golden gold blaze. They probably don't have it anymore, but just like a gold eyeliner just really defines my eyes. And I like wearing gold because I feel like it brings out the gold in the middle of my eyes. And it just matches the under to go under really well. Then for highlighting in like the inside corner of my eye, I really like to use Hello Kitty Happy Cloud for Sephora. As far as eyeshadows go, I have this um that I just dropped. <laughs> it's from Lancome and it's Ombre Magnifique in Disco Silver. It's like a shadow shimmer. I don't know if you can see it. The camera doesn't catch it as well. But I use this in my unicorn video. You could just put this over anything, just dab it on, and it just adds instant like sparkle to stuff. Now you also saw this in my unicorn video. This is my favorite rainbow palette. It's by Hot Topic and the camera does not do it justice. And even though it does get really chalky and it's really messy, they're really good colors and they are really pigmented. Like I'm like, oh, they're not really that pigmented, but they were. Um, then, this is my baby. This is my favorite product probably ever. Um, it's Urban Decay's 15 anniversary and it's just a gorgeous palette. I use it all the time in almost all my videos. I'm using it right now. I'm wearing the Chase, Chase, and then the darker color right here. And really just really one of the, the best colors that Urban Decay has come out with, I would say. It's kind of like the Naked palette, but it has more fun colors in with it. So then that, we're almost done. I'm sorry, my nose is really long. Um, 
Q-tips that get pointy, pointy. These are like the best things ever. You can fix them. You can use them to apply stuff. Rite Aid sells them for like 500 for like a dollar. Then my next thing is makeup remover Q-tips. These are by Beauty Sensation. And basically what you do is you just break the top. And then the nail pop, the remover will slide down into the bottom. And I want to show you how it works. Like it worked pretty good. Like some of this eyeliner is really tough stuff. This comes right off like it's it's the tough kind. Then my almost absolute favorite, use these every day, like four times a day. Bring these to school, have those little packs of them. Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. They come in like sensitive and before you go to sleep and stuff. These just don't leave that much oils on your skin. Sorry, some of these are waterproof and some of them stain, but that just got like everything off. And it really, I feel like it helps my skin. It doesn't ever leave too much oil on my skin or cause any acne, but those are worth the investment. They're not even that expensive. Like you can find them at Reddit. And that's it. And I just want to say that my last favorite product is Max Fix Plus. I'm not even sure what it does. It's like makeup water. This is like the reason I do makeup. No, I'm just kidding. But it just like, you just, it smells like cologne almost. Like it gives like a, it's not like a flowery smell, but you don't smell it after a while. It sets your makeup. And then if... You put your foundation on and you don't have a primer and it like looks really cakey like right here or right by your nose or something. Just spray this on a beauty sponge like this. Just spray a little. They make travel size. You don't have to buy like a huge thing of this if you don't use makeup a lot. And you just like dab it in and like smooth it out and it like refreshes your makeup. It's definitely worth the investment. So that's it. I'll put a lot of the product um, details below but I have to do some homework today. So I won't be able to do all of it probably. So thank you for watching my super long video and I love you all.